Hey guys, I'm Clive and welcome back to my channel. So on this video, I am going to talk about the video features of the Ricoh Jerfy camera. I'm going to share to you my positive and negative experiences and observations of using this camera. And also I'm going to share to you my advice and my tips as to how you can get the best out of your footages from the Ricoh GR3. Now, before anything else, I would like to share to you that I just recently published a video on my YouTube channel, which was basically shot using the Ricoh Jeffrey camera. It would be very helpful for you to have a look at that video because you'll be able to assess and evaluate the quality of the videos that you can expect from the Ricoh GR3. Personally speaking, I'm smiling because I understand the frustrations and disappointments of most of Ricoh Jeffrey users out there um, with regards to the quality and the poor performance of the video features and the design of the Ricoh Jeffrey camera. And I, I get you, I can relate to that. I understand you on that matter. And I, I know that it's not perfect um, camera when it comes to videos and the design is really poor. Um, perhaps it may be something that Rico will have to resolve in designing the upcoming um, pocket size camera that would probably be the Rico GR4 and yeah I I understand where you're coming from the reason I use um, the video of the Rico GR4 camera because I I prefer to have convenience um, and comfortability. I don't like faffing so much on my travels to take a um, picture using the GR3 and then I have to take um, another camera from my bag um, to take some videos. Um, that's just so much faff for me. Um, I like the convenience and the portability of this camera and that's why I prefer taking this on my travels to take pictures at the same time um, videos. Now the other thing that I like about the Ricoh GR3 camera when it comes to its video it's, it's color science. I mean, the the video and the colors that you get from the videos from the Ricoh Jeffy camera are already incredible. And I know there's quite a lot of potentials in there in the development of the camera, of the future cameras. Um, I also like how it looks. The colors are very rich. It looks very nostalgic or filmic-y type of um, look that you can get from the video. And I also like that you can enhance it further post-production. Um, with the image control such as the image um, color positive the color negative and the black and white you can directly apply them to your videos and it's definitely something that you can experiment and you can have a published work that is straight out of the camera now if you're going to ask me if i'm going to use um, the footages or the videos um, of the Ricoh are free on my professional work or if i'm going to use a camera for professional work i mean it's not impossible but i wouldn't rely it so much because there's so many um, things that um, is too risky when using this camera first the battery drains really quickly if i'm going to use heavily the videos or even like heavy use on pictures it really drains the battery quickly and for me the quality of the video isn't really upkeeping to the quality of other mirrorless cameras or brands out there if I'm going to use this camera for professional work then it will have to be more of like a creative or a stylistic look that I wanted to achieve now in my years of using the Ricoh Jarvi camera here are the following things that I've noticed and that I don't like when it comes to its quality and its performance the first thing let's talk about the quality of the videos so this camera is capable of shooting in HD in 1080p in 24, um, 30 and 60 frames per second. But to be honest, um, if you look at the video on the screen of your camera or on your mobile phone when you upload the video on social media, it looks okay if you use it or look at it from a smaller screen. But if you upload the video on a larger screen, like for example on my iMac, or if you watch it from a larger TV screen, then you could really see that the quality of the camera is really poor and it looks very blurry to me if I'm going to be honest. The other thing that I don't like about um, the video feature of the Ricoh Jeffy camera is you don't have much control on the manual settings. Um, to explain it further, you can't control the ISO, you can't control the speed rate, and you can't control the aperture when shooting manual mode on this camera. The only thing you could um, adjust or you know manipulate when capturing your videos is by exposing your video. And that is usually exposed using the EV compensation or your exposure value. What it is, you're basically exposing the camera either to the right or 
to the left um, and it usually starts from zero so if you wanted more light on your video you're going to expose it more onto the right from zero to positive one and positive two but obviously if you're increasing the EV um, value then you will be having more grainy or more noise on your video also if you're in a very bright um, environment you can minimize your um, exposure from zero to minus one and minus two and um, that's just really about it now when it comes to shooting in low lighting situation I mean I try not to use this camera in low light or dark scenarios because um, the footage is going to be very grainy and very noisy which is not very pleasant to look at if ever it's not um, possible for me to shoot and if I really need to shoot it in dark scenarios then I try my best that there's um, you know artificial lights be it like from the store or lighting from the street and in that way I could get the most out of my camera footage now let's talk about stabilization of this camera I mean does it even have a stabilization now I looked into the website of Rico and the specs of the Rico jar free I couldn't see if it has a, a an IBIS or the internal body image stabilization um, there is a thing called as movie SR which is meant to um, stabilize your footage or your image but personally um, I don't think it has um, stabilization if there is it's very poor it's very lacking um, it's very shaky with the footage even the minute shake or movement of your hands from handling the camera it's it's very shaky more so when you do walking even like you're holding it still it is very sensitive in picking up the little shakes of your camera and you could really see that it's really shaking um, there's like a bendy movement on the screen or on the footage which is really not pleasant to look at the other thing that I've noticed when shooting even shooting in still is that I could see that there's like a jittery movement on the video like for example on the videos that I'm showing to you now on your screen I was just literally standing still holding my camera still and you could see that the um, video is jumping or glitchy I'm not sure where this um, error is coming from whether this is um, an autofocus kind of or the focusing error but you could see on the footage that as the trend goes by you could see that it's like jittery and there's nothing else that I've done special here or wrong here but maybe this is the camera struggling to try to focus but I, I really have no idea but that's something that you might want to know about um, when it comes to using the video of this camera now let's talk about autofocus um, I don't really rely so much on the autofocus of this camera purely because it's so unreliable it tends to pick up a lot of things that comes into the frame like new movements and the camera isn't intelligent enough to detect that you just wanted it to focus in one thing um, what happens with the camera is it tries to refocus and it tends to give you like that um, refocusing movement or breathing movement on your camera that um, sometimes can be very annoying um, when I shoot videos with the Ricoh Jerfi camera I just normally um, do a manual uh, focus I don't normally put it in autofocus with manual focus you can just basically click on the screen and you're basically telling or dictating your camera that that's the area that I just wanted to wanted you to focus and there's nothing else all right guys I'm going to share to you now some few tips as to how you can achieve good looks or good footage from your Ricoh Jervy camera first of all my first tip is try your best to shoot in outdoors where there's good sunlight where there's good lighting condition um, in that way you you can be guaranteed that you have a good quality um, footage now if you're taking videos using this camera I would suggest taking still videos more than the movement types of videos it's just to make sure that you don't have a very shaky footage um, but if it's not impossible for you to um, take still videos then I recommend to try your best to hold still the camera and get it very um, stable so that you don't have much work to do post-production when you're editing and stabilizing your videos when you're taking still videos I suggest you use a tripod or you can get a um, camera handle in that way you're not directly holding the body of the camera because if you're directly holding the body of the camera the camera is very sensitive in picking up 
up your slight movement and your shake and that's going to make your footage very shaky whereas if you have a camera handle at the bottom of your camera then you can minimize those shake and you have a bit more stability on your footage now the other thing that i would like to suggest when exposing your um, footage is um, using a external anti-filter now the use of the external anti-filter is basically to control the amount of light that goes into your camera and it enables you to minimize using your exposure value to the positive side which will minimize the noise and the grain so i suggest use an anti-filter the anti-filter will make your um, clips look uniform and it's going to be easier for you to um, edit your clips now these are mainly the settings on the camera that i have applied on my ricoh rv camera first i normally set my camera to manual focus i don't rely on autofocus like i said so when i'm shooting my video i set it to manual focus so i just basically click on the screen and i just dictate my camera as to what it needed to focus on the other thing that i would like to suggest is you have to set your balance um, manually if you're confident in setting it on the kelvin scale now i, I normally set it within 5000 to like 6500 and the soft spot for me on the kelvin scale is about 5500 um, if you can do that um, do so it just gives your footages that consistent um, look if you're not confident in using the Kelvin scale then I suggest set it to the environment you're in if you're in a sunny environment then set your white balance to sunny if you're in shade set it to shade if you're indoors then set it to indoors um, the downside if you're using auto white balance is if you're uh, moving from one location to another it just um, adjusts differently and you're gonna have um, a clip or different videos that's going to be um, looking different and when you're editing them post-production um, it's going to very be very difficult for you to match the colors and the look of the clip when it comes to editing the videos of the footage from the Ricoh Geoffrey camera, I normally have a very conservative and minimalist approach. Um, I don't tend to do a lot of heavy uh, manipulation and editing on the video purely because the quality is already mid quality or mid range. So I don't want to push much on the quality and compromise the quality um, by having a clipped um, footage. So my approach to editing the footage footage is I try to keep it very simple. My first approach is um, I'm going to apply a lot. Um, if there's a good lot then I would do that. If there's no lot then my next approach is going to be very simple. That basically includes um, doing minimal adjustments on the exposure, the white balance, the shadows, the highlights. I normally play around with the YGRB um, curve and experiment and see if that would give an interesting look on my video. It's all about personal taste to be honest. Um, if I could keep the colors and the base as to how they are and just enhance them, then I would also normally do that. So there you have it guys, um, that's the end of my video. I hope this is a very helpful video for you and I'm hoping I'm giving you a different insight as to how it is to shoot and use the video of the Ricoh Geoffrey camera and also I've given you enough example as to the type of quality of videos that you get from the camera. Um, let me know if I'm the crazy person, I'm the only crazy person who shoots videos using the Ricoh Gervi camera or are you one of me? Um, let me know on the comment section if you're also um, recording videos using the Ricoh Gervi camera. Um, once again, my name is Clive. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for watching my videos and I shall see you next time on my next video. Goodbye.